Hello and good afternoon, everyone. And thank you again for joining our free online lesson. My name is Nabi Fikri Bin Shaizan and I am an application engineer from IK Systems. So for today's uh, free online lesson, I would like to share with you about the Autodesk Viewer. Right? So Autodesk Viewer applicable for any types of Autodesk purchase, but you should be able to uh, access this uh, view online. So let's take a look on what is Autodesk Viewer and what are we going to do with it today. So Autodesk Viewer is basically the uh, functionality uh, for you to share your view, right? So whether it's 2D or 3D, you can use Autodesk Viewer to easily share among team members or uh, clients or even for your vendor, right? So you can easily share that particular 3D model. Usually when people share their drawings, they would usually use uh, DXF or maybe DWF or even uh, use as uh, PDF, right? So either 2D PDF or 3D PDF. So, but if you use ShareView or Autodesk Viewer, it is much better for you to share among uh, the other team members. So let's take a look on what we're going to do today. So the first thing is I would like to show you on the 2D and also the 3D view, right? So if you have 2D, for example, AutoCAD, you want to share the 2D AutoCAD, so you can use this, and maybe you will have three modeling, such as a uh, file from Revit or maybe Inventors, so you can use ShareView. But then we can use Autodesk Viewer to easily view, right? and you can use this to measure, right? So you can use measure or make some markups and you can also call so easily. So it is easily for you to uh, collaborate between team members. Now this is the supported file type. So this is just some, some lips, uh, some, oops, some uh, lists, no, right? So if you would like to see, let me copy this one. So if you like to see the list for yourself, so let me just paste the link into the chat so you can uh, view this particular link if you want to see uh, what type of uh, file support. So let's jump in into the Autodesk Viewer. So how can you how can you open this Autodesk Viewer? So to do that, you can easily go to any browser and type in on the address that we here as Autodesk Viewer. Right. So just type in Autodesk Viewer on any browser, press enter, and you can find the Autodesk uh, Viewer over here. Right. So you can just click over here. Uh, this one is for downloading. That's what we're going to take a look on. Uh, over here. Right. So viewer.autodesk.com. Uh, so my mistake. So just click over here, and it will bring you to the Autodesk Viewer online. Right. So Autodesk Viewer is a online platform. So you can just upload that files and you can just uh, send that particular link to your colleagues. So you don't need to uh, export it out as a PDF and you import it inside of, uh, the Outlook or emails and you send back that particular PDF to that particular user and that user need to use uh, PDF viewers, uh, something like that. But, but if you use Autodesk Viewer, it is much easier. So once you, Go inside of Autodesk Viewer, you can just simply sign in. So for those who don't have Autodesk, uh, Autodesk purchase, right? Maybe they don't purchase AutoCAD or Inventors or even Revit. So usually they don't have the Autodesk Viewer. Uh, so usually they don't have the Autodesk account, but Autodesk account you can just sign up for free. So even though you don't purchase uh, any uh, subscription, so you can still uh, available to use the Viewer online. So you just need to sign up for free. Okay? So to sign in, let me just sign in to the Autodesk Viewer. And basically, this is what you will get. Right? So this is, this is basically the Viewer platform that you can use over here. So there are multiple 3D or even 2D files that you can use from here. So if you need to upload the other file, other 3D files, you can use this new, upload new files. Right? You can go and select the files. You want to select the files. Right? That is for individual file, but if you have a large file that you would like to include many things, you can just use upload folder. 
And let's say if I have a multiple files from here, and right, so from this separate table, for example, right, I have many files over here. So I just simply upload. And what it will do is it, which it should be able to separate all of these 3D cat files separately for you. So it's so easily for you to identify which file is available or not, right? So, and it's also giving these parent files. So you don't have to search that particular IAM files and the uh, sub assemblies. So it will do this automatically, right? And then you can just hit load and you upload. But if you want to have a single file, you can also do that by uploading new file from here. Just selecting the files, maybe I only want Brussels A, for example, and I can uh, simply upload it, right? So for example, let's say I want to upload uh, this pump over here, for example. Right. And you should upload that particular pump over here. So I don't need this extra file, so let me just use this one. Right. So I only need this particular pump file. So I just need to upload and I should be able to use it uh, easily. Right? So if you have file from AutoCAD or maybe files from uh, other, uh, other Autodesk software, such as maybe SolidWorks or maybe Katya, you can also stay important inside. Right? So you can see over here, we have already imported our 3D model. Right? So you can also import a 2D files, right? So you can also import a 2D files, such as the AutoCAD, right? So I already imported AutoCAD file from here. So if we take a look on this AutoCAD file, then we can see we have a 2D viewing uh, properties from here, right? So you can just use it to particular view, right? You have uh, other access such as on layers, for example, Maybe there are some other layers I don't want to see. I can just simply turn it off, right? And maybe I want to see uh, AM, right? So I can just turn it off from here, right? Now that is if you want to upload, but however, if there are easier way for you to access the Autodesk Viewer is directly from the AutoCAD or Inventor or maybe uh, Revit software. So you don't have to export it, that particular files and upload it inside of Autodesk Viewer. There are one particular buttons that you can use from the software and it will automatically upload that into the Autos Viewer. So let me show you one of the examples. For example, this AutoCAD file that I have over here. So I have all this particular AutoCAD file with some layers and I hope I also have some layouts shown over here. Uh, most likely, normally, on uh, in the old days, people will use the uh, export app as a PDF, right, or maybe DWF, just to send that this uh, this two D files to other person to view, right? Especially those person that did not have access to AutoCAD, uh, AutoCAD, uh, AutoCAD software, right? So they use the uh, the PDF. However. Nowadays, because of Autodesk Viewer, it is much easy. All you can do is just, all you need to do is just go to the Collaborate tab over here. And then you should see this Share View. Just click on the Share View. And it will pop up this uh, view for you to upload. And this is the list of files that I have uploaded before. I can use this to check uh, what item that I have. And you can also see uh, who, uh, what particular person that uh, uploaded this particular file. Right? But for this case, I um, want to upload this file. Right? So once I open Share View, I just need to click New Share View. And I can select uh, what type of uh, information that I want them to see. Maybe I only want to share this view only. Or maybe I have multiple layout. I also want to share that layout. So I just click share layouts and I can uh, select other types of things that I want to share from here. Maybe I want allow to share object properties. And from here, click to the view only. So if you have 3D uh, modeling, uh, 3D object inside of uh, DWG, you can uncheck this one and that upper 3D will be uh, appear as well on this 
not to the swivel, but for this case, I only have 2D, so I've just checked this 2D view only. So I just pick share and proceed, and it will upload it uh, automatically for you. Huh? So right now it is uploading. Once the uploading has been done, it will pop up some information stating that uh, the uploading process has finished. So let me take a look from here. Let me see, you can see there are button over here, which is running. Right. So this button indicate that it is now publishing on the share view and the publishing is completed. And then you can click to view in browser. It will automatically open uh, in, uh, in the browser. Right. It will automatically open the DWG, uh, sorry, the authorized view. It will also show from here, but if that not if it does not show, so I can just click refresh, and then you will see this view has been shown, right? So this view, what it does, it will upload it uh, into the Autodesk Viewer, and it will expire within three days. So you can see I have several other files from here. So I have one specifically will be expired in twenty one days. If you want to extend, you can just go and extend the days. So you only have three days. You cannot uh, make more than that. That is the default. But if you want only one or two days, right? So for example, once you have loads, you can just delete. And the other two days, uh, maybe on the other two days, you can just delete. And that particular file cannot be accessed anymore by anybody. Right? That is if you want to uh, delete. If uh, you need to extend, you can just simply extend. Now, I want to share this file with other my colleague members. So what I can do is that I can copy the link. I can copy the link and I can share the file with everybody. So let me just share the link. So anybody can open this link and they can particularly view this file over here. Right? So I can also view in browser. So once you open that link, this is basically what you get. Right? So easily, you can just share this link on the email or maybe WhatsApp. You don't need to export it as a PDF. And that particular person don't need to download that particular PDF and open it inside of PDF viewer. So you just need to open the link. Then you have this view available. Uh, this is the view that has been captured uh, inside of the AutoCAD. It will save the view. And if you want, if I want to see on the layout, so I can have this layout one, which, which is the layout that I've saved. I have layout two, right? So this is one that has been made before. Right, so again, similarly that before I have access to layers, which uh, some of the view I can turn on and off. Maybe I don't want to see the chair. I can turn off the chair. Some of this is available that you can see from here. Right, so we want to take a look on the properties and just open the properties and so on. Uh, most things that people want to view this file, obviously, because first of all, they want to view. So you have already have access to view, you can pan, zoom in and out. Next thing is they might want they might also want to measure the particular file. Right, from here we have access to measure. Right, so I can use measure, I can set and measure this particular file, right? So I have this particular measure that I can use easily. Right, so there are other types of measuring, right? So maybe I want to check some angles, or maybe areas. And we also have calibrate. So maybe this is not the size that I want. Maybe it's something around 15, right? So 15 inch or maybe around 200 millimeters. So what I can do is that I can calibrate and it will change the size according to my calibration. So I can set this one as a two, uh, say two thousands and not an inch. I want it on uh, millimeters, uh, centimeters. So I can calibrate. And when I set my distance, it will change to 200 centimeters. This one also will be calibrated as well, right? So it, it's easy if you have a file with different uh, size or maybe different units, you can use calibrate. <laughs> right. Another thing is that you can also uh, put some markups. Right. For example, uh, let's say I make some distance view from here. Right. So this one is around 
516. So maybe I want to make some notes here, indicate that this is, should not be around 515. This should be around uh, 400 only. Right, so I can go into the markup. And here I can use pencil if I want to draw. Maybe I want to draw on the door over here. Maybe I want to put some clouds for highlighting. So I can just use cloud to highlight. And then I can put some text over here. Right. So maybe I put around something around uh, change to 400 mm, for example. Now this will be safe. Right. So once it's done, you can see this one. And this will be safe over here. Right. You can also put some comments if you want. But on the comment, you already have the markup that you have put over here. So what happened here, once you have saved this one, if the person who sent that particular files, but maybe you send this file to your boss and your boss makes some markups, once it's saved, and then you can open this one, just need to refresh back, then you can see the comment has been shown from here. So right away, you have the comments explain show here what you need to do and then you can just open this file and it will show exactly what types of comments or what types of highlighting that the manager or your boss has been uh, shown here right so it's easy to collaborate with uh, other team members right so this is uh, basically just 2d right so you also have 3d so if i take a look on the inventors inventors should have the same things. All you need to do is just go into this uh, collaborate, and then you have this share view over here. Uh, so press the share view, and again similar setups. But uh, so click the share, and then there are some things that you can uh, upload here online as well. So let's take a look on the 3D modeling. Uh, we specifically already upload this one. So let's take a look at other modeling. So the one we have is just a part class. If you want to include, if you want to include a assembly file, so you can also do that. Just go to the assembly, again, go to collaborate, and you can upload back from there. Then you have these assembly files, which is on 3D. Now from here, you have access to view. Similarly, you have a model browser. Maybe some of the things that you don't want to see, you can just turn it off and it will become transparent. But still, they should, you should be able to see it, but become transparent. So maybe I only want to see these uh, two and pipes. So I can just turn on two and pipe only. Right? Just click on and off uh, which one that I want to see. Right? So similar with the layouts. So other things I have, I also have some extra things that I can view from here. I have a little bit, basically you can just orbit around, but you can zoom in, zoom out. Uh, you have first person, so I will show you the first person later on. You have this section view, right? So if I want to take a look on this 3D and I want to see what's inside of this 3D model, and I want to use section view. So I can use section view to basically pick some section and to see what is actually inside of this uh, pressure vessels. So it will be and I can see what's inside of here. And you can see it's highlighting uh, uh, what is the solid object, what is the empty one. I can turn around if you want to. So that is just some sections, which is also applied from here. Right? So again, similarly, you have access to measure. You can measure from one location to another. And it will, it will also give you the X, Y, and Z if just directly if you want uh, to have different types of uh, view from here. Right, so have sections, measures, and you also have the export, export the view. Maybe I want to see the entire object, right? So not the one which is assembled together. I want to separate the file. I have this export, export view from here. So just simply drag it out and it will export it for me. Now I did not preset, I did not create this export view manually. After I upload this 3D modeling, this 3D assembly, this app exploded view will be done automatically. So I don't actually need to do this manually. So this one is actually automatically, right? So it's easy for you to see part by parts with this exploded view. Right, so again, similarly, you have markups. 
uh, you can use markups to uh, create some information that other members can see from here. Now, most Autodesk software have uh, these shortcuts that allow you to uh, share the view, like the inventors and also the AutoCAD. Uh, but there are some others, uh, Autodesk files that does not have the shortcuts, such as the Navi suite, for example. Uh, so, for example, on this Navi suite, I have these assemblies of files from here, of these uh, factory layouts, and I want to uh, I want this to be on this Autodesk view. So I don't have the collaborate that over here that I can use to view, but should be no problem. I can still save this one as a Oops, okay, no mind. Uh, I can still save this one as a factories, uh, uh, sorry, as a NWD files or NWF files. And I can upload that particular uh, NWD files inside of the uh, Autodesk Viewer. And you should be able to see this uh, on into the cloud, right? So for example, so I can go back into the Autodesk Viewer. And if I want to import that, I can just upload new files. I can search for uh, the NWD, which is stand for Navisuit file. Right? So you can just upload this Navisuit file and it will upload it inside of this video. All right, I already uploaded it. So let's take a look on the Navisuit file. So I have this Navisuit files available from here. And you can see this file is available for you to see. And that particular view that I have from the established files, such as these viewports, I have area view, the assembly view, the welding areas, and the, uh, the selections that I have from here, uh, part by part, so everything will be included and can be viewed directly inside of the, the view from here, right? You can see from here, I have different views. We want to see on aerials, assembly, maybe on the outside. The view that you save will be available from here. Right? So same goes with the model browser. Right? Maybe I want to see this model browser. I have too many parts from here. And let's say from the uh, SM, let's say from the sheet metal over here. So if I take a look from the sheet metals, now you can see I have many things that I have from here. So maybe I only want to see this uh, sleeving arm chip frame from here. So all I need to do is just, I can just click on the swing arm. Everything will be unchecked, except for this slim arm. And it will automatically zoom in on this particular area. So it's easy for you to view which area of the uh, item is located. Maybe I want to see this handrail. So I'll just click on the handrail, it will view this automatically. So if I want to view everything, so just click everything from here. And I have the overall view from this particular panel. Right? So again, you can still view it manually. Maybe I don't want to see the fabrics. I can just turn off the fabrics. I don't want to see this terrain. I can turn off the strains. I can easily uh, set the view that I want from here. Now, uh, right, so we also have this first person view. So first person allow you to simulate uh, what will happen uh, on real life. For example, I want to see what happened, uh, what is the actual view from the human perspective. So I can use first person view. Let me just close this one. And it will drop down and I can use the key, the keyword key, the WASD, like a computer games. From here, I can just move it around. So if I need to increase the speed, so I can just increase the walk speed and I can basically view what happened is actually uh, I have more uh, realistic view for me, realistic perspective view. For me. Right, so that is the first person view. So if you have stairs, it should be able to walk on, on the step as well. Right. So for example, if I take a look at the other view. Right. So I also have these uh, rabbit files. If I open these rabbit files. Right, so maybe I want to simulate the movement from here. Right. Let's see. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm up on the ground, so I want to submit the document. And I have some stairs that I want like to take a look what upstairs. So uh, it still allow you to move if you have stairs. So you don't have to worry about different levels that you have on your uh, model over here. But you can still access that particular section of area. Right, so that is the viewer. And let's say if I already done with my viewer, so what uh, other things that I have on here? Right, so at, at the top over here, we also have comments, right? So you can give comments if you want, right? So we also have markups, uh, which is also a type of comment. If you want to print, you have available to print. You have prints over here. Maybe I want to print this particular layout. So I can just click print and I have uh, the print option. Maybe I want to print as a PDF. For example, maybe I want to take a screenshot, so I can just take a screenshot and I can download it inside of my uh, machines. Lastly, I can also reshare back these files with other persons. I have access to this link over here, so which I can copy and I can share this particular link uh, for you guys to see. Right, so that is just some to this. We have three this, so maybe I want to copy this one, so I can just click share. Right, and then I can just copy and I can just share with you guys if you would like to see. So just copy this particular links and open this onto the, the uh, desktop and you should be able to access this one. Right, so that is all that I would like to share with Autodesk viewers. So I believe I can open up for Q&A sessions. Right, so I have a few questions from here. Uh, how to okay? So we have the maximum file size. Uh, what is the maximum file size uh, to be upload? Right. So Autodesk does not have uh, the, the Autodesk does not uh, inform us specifically what type of uh, file size. But I see some people that actually upload one gig of files inside of Autodesk Viewer. So the file size that you can upload should be no problem. Leave. Right, so how to change the alternate view background color to black? Okay, I'm not sure, I'm not uh, actually sure if it has the settings for black. Right, so let's try, let, let me just try to see if it's uh, applicable for, for black. But for, for now, I don't actually aware if it has this black background. So we have configuration, appearance. Uh, right, so we do have this on settings. So you can uh, change the background to black, right? but the entire team still white. Uh, but the background for the AutoCAD, you can change on the settings. Then you have these prints to black. All right, so uh, works in Safari browser in iPad. Uh, this Autodesk Viewer works inside of the iPads. You can work with your mobiles should work, but uh, for Safari browser, I don't actually wear, but I believe it should work. Uh, you can try it. Uh, as long as it's a browser, internet browser, you should be able to open it up. Right? So regardless of using iPads or tablets or mobile phone, right, you can access this view. Right, so we have other questions. File inside of the world. Can it save to my own computer? For example, if I save from mobile. So the thing that you can uh, save on your computer is the prints and also the screenshot. But for the 3D, uh, I believe you cannot save the 3D files into your desktop. So you only have print and also the screenshot. All right. So is there any questions that you would like to ask? Right, so I believe no questions so far, then we can stop right from here. So I hope uh, I, I have answered all of your questions. Uh, so if you have any questions, you can just uh, type in the chat, or you can also email me if you want to ask this question at all. But for now, I believe that is all that I would like to share with you. So thank you everyone for joining this free online lesson. So, uh, so that's all. So thank you everyone. Have a nice day and bye-bye.